Why is pop culture so obsessed with nuns? Rihanna is gracing the new cover of Interview magazine, dressed in a Dior shirt and a custom-made cap by fashion designer Sarah Sokol. This week, Rihanna surprised with a new photo shoot for Interview magazine that challenged much of what we know and expect from the traditional image of a nun. The suggestive cover with lacquered lips came shortly after the release of the new nun movie A Immaculate in theaters, starring Sidney Sweeney as a secretly pregnant sister fighting for her life in an Italian convent. These vestal garments are actually the latest in a long line of subversive interpretations of pop culture about the lives and loves of nuns. In fashion, nuns have long been a source of inspiration for designers. During his tenure as creative director of Dior, John Galliano created a haute couture collection in 2008 with pointed caps reminiscent of those worn by nuns in the 1950s. He was struck by divine inspiration again in 2019 when he sent models down the Maison Margiela runway in white and black fabric veils. The classic silhouette has also been continuously reinvented by names like Schiaparelli, Marine Serra, Emilia Wickstead, and Vaquera, among others. More recently, Bella Hadid walked the Coperni Fall Winter 2022 runway wearing a helmet reminiscent of a nun's habit. In Sydney Sweeney's latest film, she plays a woman who joins a convent in a remote part of Italy. Nuns have been depicted suggestively eating ice cream in front of greeting cards or depicted accepting communion with a tongue piercing. A particularly popular photo taken in 1965, widely attributed to the Holtendeutsch collection, shows four sisters gathered around a cigarette. Andy Warhol was also impressed by the image of the prioress, reimagining Swedish actress Ingrid Bergman as a Catholic nun in his 1983 pop art portrait, The Nun. Both American painter Ken Vrana and Japanese artist Yashitomo Nara created their own versions of The Flying Nun. In Vrana's 2014 painting, a nun wearing a cap stands in a wrestling ring, while Nara's 2002 work shows a nun flying through the air in a mini-airplane. But why have they captured the imagination of so many people? A part of the fascination stems from the pleasure and or attention produced by the transgression of expectations and boundaries, said Dr. Lynn S. Neal, author of A Religion in Vogue, Christianity and Fashion in America, in an email to CNN. Uh, when people see the nun's habit, it evokes a series of connotations and assumptions, someone's commitment to holiness, self-denial, and service to others. Cinema, which has often worked to subvert these same connotations, has long maintained a sustained interest in the lives of nuns. A 1959 Western thriller, The Nun's Story, featuring Audrey Hepburn as a bride of Christ confined to a convent who returns to the secular world, was one of Hollywood's first forays into examining sisters struggling with their faith. Then came a wave of bloody European films in the 1960s and 1970s. The Gnunsploitation ou subgenre saw the transformation of nuns from icons of piety and sacrifice into harbingers of evil and sexual obsession. In A Our Lady of Lust, 1972, Behind Convent Walls, 1978, The Sinful Nuns of St. Valentine, 1979, and more, women are portrayed as lustful and sometimes depraved, unable to maintain their commitment to God due to their dangerous sexual appetites. A Killer Nun, 1979, tells the story of Sister Gertrude, the head nurse of a general hospital who suffers a psychotic outbreak and initiates a wave of murders. Many of these films were made in Italy, a country where nearly 80% of its adult population claims to identify as Catholic, according to a 2018 study by the Pew Research Center. Subscribe to the channel, thank you.